Okay, so I guess we're gonna start testing our application first. Let's go ahead and see what we're gonna. Uh, I don't know. Let's go to the task list. PHP. The fuck? No, let's go to the list controller. And uh, let's implement the get lists. So even though we're gonna get lists per user, I'm just gonna put this right here. So after we add the user, we're gonna change this stuff. Uh, what do we want to return? So I'm gonna need the repository obviously. So let's uh, do a public function uh, One thing to avoid if you are uh, you if you've been using symphony for so long you probably would like to inject the You know auto you will take advantage of the auto wiring. So you might want to do something like uh, Task list repository just here. So don't do this not gonna work uh, if you go to uh, to see the routes that you have uh, you're gonna get a problem you're gonna see that it's gonna be it's gonna take it as uh, not uh, a debug route it's gonna take it as a parameter so you're gonna see it's gonna ask you for a repository so what you want to do instead is and it's pretty obvious since we're gonna reuse this uh, through the entire controller just want to pass this in the controller and that's it so task list repository what is that shit that's here let's just call this task this repository. I'm gonna initialize this. By the way, if you don't know how to initialize within PHP Storm, you can just press Alt Enter. I'm on a Ubuntu or Windows, you can do that. I'm not really sure about Mac. You can go to initialize fields, press OK. If you got a lot of options, you can either select them one by one using control or you can just press shift and hold down or up and it's gonna select everything. And just hit OK, it's going to generate that, initialize that field for you. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and return that. And let's do this um, uh, repository. Let's just find all. So find all, got them like that. Okay, so we have everything. I, am I even required? Yeah. So let's, uh, let's go to Postman and see what we're going to get. So what's the route for this? It's API lists. Uh, what API lists? Yeah, this one. No, no, not that one. This one. So let's do localhost. Yeah, localhost 8000 and API slash lists. What we're gonna get? Uh, send. I uh, could not get. There's localhost. Yeah, that's that's what I want. Localhost. 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 Host send and we got an empty array so that means that we got something okay so we got an empty array that's because we have nothing right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna you know we're gonna implement the post so we can post some stuff and yeah so we have that uh, um, I don't know if we want to post so I just want to show you a couple of stuff so we can have I think not this so we have something called the the context you can specify that right here so for example uh, not, not context the view for example if you this is, uh, this is something that I obviously should have covered before but it doesn't matter uh, we can have some like view I don't know if you have ever seen this is a uh, uh, specific to goddamn rest bundle so you can have like status code and then you can set this to 404 if you want to it's not, please don't do 404 on success but I just want to show you this so as you can see status is 200 okay if I hit send I'm gonna get what the fuck attempt to load class template from no I assume I'm gonna have to install this uh, this is what I hate using the view. I never use view, uh, but I just want to show you this. You can use this if you want to. You can uh, and view is pretty amazing. You can basically do a lot of stuff. You can have the status code. You can the serializer group. You can set that right there. You can have a bunch of stuff that you can do. I I, I honestly don't like using it. I don't know why. I just don't like to use that. So, but you can do it. just know that there it's there so you can do it experiment with it if you want to you can go to the uh, if you go to the documentation let me just so my job is to teach let me show you that thing uh, if you go to what is that gonna be uh, it's probably gonna be an annotation reference let's see view do we have yeah we have a view yeah yeah 
as you can see we have view we have the status code which uh, i just tried to set and i failed we have the serializer group popular default var serializer and i'm gonna as you can see we have every you got everything right there just read through the documentation try this and see if it's gonna work for you uh why i don't like using this so uh, i don't want to use to return the data like this usually i like to do either this handle view i don't even do handle view i usually so in handle view you have to do handle view and this you gotta pass it a view and the data you gotta pass it to like uh, data uh, lists let's do lists like that and you gotta give it the data and all that as you can see it's pretty messy so what i usually do this is just me don't take my word for this don't learn from me i'm just giving you some hints so what i usually do is just view i return the view directly like this let me just change the type i give it the data that i want so i'm just gonna get this outside so let's do data equals that and the data i'm gonna pass that right here and i do response so goddamn response from the http foundation namespace and this has a lot of static uh goddamn codes that you can use so i like to use this instead of just hard coding the value i don't like the these magic numbers and it's pretty hard to change them so what i usually do is i just you know use one of these so in this case we want http okay so i'm just gonna call http okay and it's gonna insert that code for me so if i go back and do like send i'm gonna get 200 if i do to http no content so no content like that i should get to a four i don't know if i'm gonna get that but yeah i got that it's, it's amazing so i got that so that's what i like to use i don't like using view because it's uh, you know it's it's not pretty helpful so yeah i this is what i do this is what i do you can either do it or change your ways i don't know it's it's up to you uh this is my approach so yeah so what else do we want to do i'm gonna get rid of this gray thing uh so we got the list let's uh, let's post some lists okay so we want to insert a new list so what we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously need the entity manager i'm gonna in inject that here entity manager interface let's call this entity manager let's initialize the field again yeah so we have the entity manager i'm gonna go to get post uh yeah post list action i'm gonna create a new list so let's do a new list. Oh god, damn. not list. Task list. That is do list, and uh, we want to set the title. So where are we gonna get the title from? You can get it from two places. You can either get it from the request if you insert the request right here, or you can get it from the using the param fetcher which we gonna use. So. First thing, before you can use any of this stuff, you have to, mm, let's see, let me just, uh, we have to configure the Friends of Symphony uh, REST configuration. So if you want to do that, if you want to use the request, you have to add the body listener and set that to true, which is basically going to decode the, the contents of the request into an array and you can use it from there so what, uh, what else are we going to do so we have to add the the param fetcher listener so param fetcher listener so we can use that to get the query data that we want so and we have a bunch of uh, not bunch like three or maybe three or four so we have just three we have the query parameters which are query parameters that comes in the url so we uh, get you know uh, uh, get yeah via get we have the request parameters which are get uh, which we get from the request array and we have the file which obviously are files so you can use one of these to get the value that you want and just know that you can even even though you use the you use the param feature you can set your values right here and you can get them here i as i said i don't like doing that i like to use param feature to get my values that's just me you can have whatever you want uh let's see so we can uh, not there here so we want to post a new list let's uh, let's do this let's get so we want to get the title from e post yeah we're gonna send the values uh, through post so we're gonna use the request parameter i feel like whatever this shit that i'm saying doesn't make any sense 
So I'm gonna call this title. This takes a description. This takes a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna I'll call it description. This is helpful for API documentation generation if you want to. So the mm, title of the list. Uh, I'm gonna say this nullable to false, and you can even have requirements. But if you are gonna use requirements, you this is a regular expression. If you want this to be in a certain way, for example, you don't want any symbols, you don't want numbers, you just wanna, you know, if you have some sort of a of criteria that you want, you want the user to follow and respect, you have to add that in the requirement. One thing to note is that you have to have the validation component installed. So yeah, just keep that in mind. If this does not work, install the validation component. This is all I want for now. I'm gonna inject the param picture. Picture like right here so run feature and unlike the user repository if you remember when i inserted when i used injected the user repository it did give me an error uh, not an error but it it took that as a parameter in this case the param feature and the request are not taken into consideration as parameters you can have them here and uh, they are not going to show in your uh, you, in your url so you can do that there's nothing to worry about can I update the documentation? Yeah. So what do you want to do right here? So let's say that I want to, you know, have, I'm going to do a title like that and I'm going to use the param feature. So param feature and I want to get, just call get is going to know, uh, you know, it's going to figure out that you, uh, you want to get this from the title. It's going to search through these and give you the result that you want. So I'm going to do a title if title is defined. Then I want to do all this stuff. Uh, I want to set the title. The title obviously going to be this. And we're going to call the entity. No, at that. So this entity manager persist. And we want to persist the list that we just created. And we want to flush this stuff. So it's flush. And we want to return something. So I usually, I'm going to return the the task that I just created. So uh, as I said before, I already said that there is many, many ways. So in a RESTful API, the like there is like a, a debate. It's not a debate, but e each one prefers to do things his own way. That's what I keep saying. This is my way. This is my way, my approach. So usually when you do something, most people don't like to. Some just like to return the ID of the thing that I just posted. So I can use another get request to get because this application is stateless. You know, most APIs are stateless. So that's something to do. Uh, the user, the browser can benefit from that. So instead of just getting this straight after post, you can get so that the, it can be saved in the history, I think, or something like that. But yeah, so that's what I, that are what I'm trying to say. So you can have multiple, even if you search and you ask, you're gonna get the answer that you get to choose whatever you want you can get no content you can get the id you can even get uh you know the goddamn entire post or resource that you just created so i'm just gonna get the entire resource uh what i want to do is uh, so what's that i'm gonna get the list like that and i'm gonna get a response and uh http okay so nothing happened uh, otherwise, I'm gonna return some some other error. I don't know what error I want to return. I'm just gonna return 500. Something happened, uh, or you can return validation error. So it seems like we can just use the use the bad request uh, at this point. So let's just do that. Bad request. We got a 400 error. We got the list. Identified variable list. What? Oh, sure, because we, we don't have a list, so we just want to return some sort of an error. I'm going to say error, and you know what, let's just say title. This cannot be, no, this is going to be the shittiest video ever. The return title, let's go ahead and see if this is going to work. Anyway, so I'm going to post to this, I'm going to change the type to post, and the, the, the key uh, let's add the title which we we want and this is uh, is a list. I'm gonna send 
uh, not null from validator constraint. Okay, so it seems like we need to actually install the validator to to even be used to, to use the nullable. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do bin slash console make. What the fuck? Okay, so we have the validation share going on. So let's go ahead and resend again. And as you can see, the parameter title of value and null value to the constraint is pushing null. This value should not be null. So it, uh, what is going on? So this is what I hate about Postman. Look at this. It's, it's trying to send this here. I'm trying to send this in a post request. This is what I hate this stuff. Okay, so it seems like I'm gonna use curl, fuck postman, so get the fuck out of my face. I'm gonna use post, uh, I'm gonna use curl, so let's do curl, is it installed? I think it's installed, yeah, it's installed. So I'm gonna do D, I'm gonna give it uh, the data, it's gonna be title equals uh, the title. Yeah, let's call this, uh, this is a title. Uh, let's specify the, uh, fun uh, the method, it's gonna be post. Uh, how do we specify the URL? Uh, just like that. Okay. HTTP local. God damn. HTTP local ho local ho local host. Eight thousand and uh, fuck API slash lists. I'm gonna hit enter. An exception again. Insert into background uh, with param this value. A null null enter the value column background cannot be null. Of course, it cannot be null. I made some default value. I need some default values for that. So task list background. Where's background? So options uh, default. So let's do default equals uh, let's see background dot png. Do the same thing right here. So let's just do. Okay, let's see. So, okay, we gotta we gotta do something else. We have to do. We have to update the schema. Let's send this again. As you can see, it's not working. The column cannot be null. But it, all right, so it seems like uh, I, I fixed my stuff. So I have these notable and I have default values for background and background path. I guess I can just go ahead now and move on with my whatever this is. Let me just get rid of this. Let's clear. Come on, get out. I guess I can uh, just uh, post again, see what we're gonna get. Motherfuck. Yeah, I've got to migrate this shit to the, to the other side of the world. So I had to update the schema. I have to do that shit again. As you can see, I got my post, so it's working. I'm getting that. So how can I get that value again? I can do, yeah, you know, I can do get. And I want to get the first. So let's just, you know, the ID is one. So I can do get. Uh, I can get rid of the title. I don't need that. Don't have any data. Uh, fuck, I didn't get that. So I guess I haven't implemented that yet. So let's go to the list controller and see what we got. So, yeah, we didn't get that. Okay, we can do that. So we can. Uh, I'm not gonna use the param feature right here. So, as you can see, I'm not gonna use the query parameter to get just the ID. I can just do this. Again, this is just me. You can do whatever you want. So, let's do. Uh, let's get return. Not return. Let's do data equal this. Uh, repository so repository like that let's find the one by I want to find by the ID I want to get ah, fuck find one by ID I'm gonna pass the ID ah, fuck that's the ID come on I'm gonna return the data so uh, return this uh, view let's give it the data let's give it the response and HTTP okay, so got them. HTTP okay, so we got that. Let me see what I'm gonna get right here. So okay, I'm gonna call the same thing. So I can see I got my post. 
right here the background being null the background path being null and all that so uh, one thing that i'm uh, i'm not gonna cover in this so it seems like this video has took long enough more than 20 minutes that's bad i guess so one thing that i'm gonna try to do in the next video is to upload an image so we're gonna toggle the status so i'm gonna basically gonna create a second part of this so we're gonna create uh, we're gonna try to update some values for example i'm gonna update the list title uh, we're gonna add some tasks and we're gonna add some notes to these tasks and we're gonna deal with the circular reference stuff and basically i guess we're gonna do a bunch of stuff so we're gonna handle how to we're gonna see how you handle you can handle file uploads and yeah that's pretty much it so see you guys in the second part